Hello again. Oh, I just thought I'd um, do a quick update on the progress so far. I've assembled most of these uh, super little figures from my V&V miniatures. These are the Byzantine cataphracts. I've done uh, so far three of them with the uh, hand weapons as opposed to uh, I think it's called a contos, there's a long lance or spear that they use. You can see the quality of these figures. These are 28mm figures. And that's the final one of the four. Uh, what I wanted to talk briefly about was um, just that these are, are more model figures rather than um, war games figures perhaps I mean you could war game with them but um, they do take a lot of assembly you'll see I've got some uh, filler this is there are a few bubbles in the resin and um, little amendments to the uh, saddle and so forth Hope you can see that anyway. I mean, they're absolutely wonderful looking uh, sculpts. Uh, what I've uh, I put them together with super glue. That one, and I've used the um, this long uh, filler tube because uh, it just improves the accuracy of where you're putting things. And for um, filling out holes, I've used that uh, dissolved putty. Oh, for any little mistakes, I haven't used these are the spears and lances, whatever that came with the uh, packet. I haven't used those because they're um, they're too big for the for the holes that are available in. The, let's see this one. They don't fit. So I'd have to drill it out wider. And. Um, might be better to cut those in half or something, and uh, and uh, put a half in either in the bottom, one half in the bottom, one in the top, or alternatively, I'd replace them with uh, some wire spares and might do that. I'm sure I've got a box of those lying around somewhere. They did take quite a long time to assemble. Um, you have to wash them first, and of course, uh, these are resin figures, so. If you're cutting them, or drilling, anything that's making dust, and you can see there are lots of little bits of uh, debris uh, from uh, what I've been doing, you need to wear a face mask because this stuff is uh, you know, tends to be poisonous. I don't know what particular resin they've used here, but uh, you wouldn't want to breathe it in anyway uh, in powder form. And I've used the scalpel to um, chop things up a bit. That's a discarded uh, glue dispenser, and um, and this drill for the hands. Um, I'm looking forward to um, putting them all together. I have a strange feeling I won't be able to do justice to the um, artistry that's on display here by the uh, sculptor. And I did say earlier that uh, in the previous video that uh, I thought the poses looked a bit stiff, but now that I've uh, now that I see them, uh, maybe that was a bit uh, just slightly misleading. Maybe it just looked that way on the box art. You know, there's uh, I think they're. Let's just check. There's that horse is the same. That horse is the same. That one's different. And this horse is the same as that one. So two horse poses, as well as showing you the figures, and also the armor style of armor is different. That this is a slightly different at the back there compared to this one. Yeah, I made a little mistake when I was uh, removing one of the uh, attachment points there, so I had to put the filler there. Anyway, and that's just a little intermediate video. Um,
let you know my thoughts so far. Okay, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon.